RTA Victor. Do not try to adjust the picture. A new form of television is here. 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 What's happening, you guys? Apple Tech here. So, when I first started YouTube, I made this how to jailbreak your iDevice uh, little two part video, and I kind of left you hanging because the first video was how to restore your device, and then the uh, second one was actually how to jailbreak, and it wasn't very well explained, and it was like a month later. So, now I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iOS 4.2.1 um, firmware. Uh, yeah. So, first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up iTunes, plug your iPod Touch in, and or iPhone, and restore it to factory settings. Now, when it's been restored, you want to set it up as a new iPod. Um, I'll just name it iPod Touch. And then you don't want to sync anything with it. And then once that's all done, what you want to do is you want to go to the links in the description. There's one for Windows, one for Mac. That is the Red Snow application that'll uh, do the jailbreak for you. And there's, um, yeah. And also there is a custom firmware that you guys need to get in order to actually do the jailbreak. When you go to the firmware link in the description, it'll bring up a website that looks something like this. Now. Um, you want to not go into iPod. You want to scroll down until iPhone slash iPod Touch slash iPad slash Apple TV. And then you want to go ahead and find your firmware. Now, there, it's sorted first with uh, Apple TVs, iPads, iPhones, and then finally iPod Touches. There's mine. Uh, go to the exact firmware that you have on your iDevice. It should restore to the latest firmware, so just look for that. And then you're just going to click download in this corner and wait for it. your stuff is downloaded and unzipped from its folders, you can go ahead and open up your uh, Red Snow application. And then you can go ahead and just um, uh, close your internet browser. You won't be needing it now. Just quit that. And then I'm going to switch to a camera mode so you guys can see everything that I need to do. So what you want to do first is you just want to go ahead and click browse. And then you just want to search for the um, uh, IPSW that you just downloaded and open it. Now if you have an iPod Touch 2G, it's going to ask you if this is an MC model. If you're not sure, you can go ahead and open, uh, turn it on, and then just go into the settings app. Go to general, about, and scroll down until you see the model. Mine is an MB model, so I don't have to worry about that. And so you're just going to click no. And then you can click next. And then it's just going to prepare the jailbreak data. I don't really know what half of this stuff means, but once you get to this screen, what you want to enable is install Cydia to get the jailbreak, uh, enable battery percentage, it's really handy, uh, home screen wallpapers, and multitasking. Um, home screen wallpapers are native, they become native, kind of like an iOS 4.3, so that's good. And a uh, custom boot logo. Now, all you have to do is find a P PNG file on the internet or a JPEG and then turn it into a J uh, PNG with preview just by editing it a little. So what I'm going to use is this iOS 6 logo that I found and it is a JPEG so I'm just going to turn it into a PNG. There we go by using the instant alpha tool to take out all this white. It asked me to duplicate as a PNG, which I want.
you want a logo that looks good when you boot up because it it depends like um, yeah so once your custom boot logo is all loaded all you have to do is check the box search for a PNG image smaller than 320 by 480 then you can go ahead and click next now you want to make sure that your device is plugged in and off so you're just going to hold this power button until this little power slider thing appears and then you're going to turn it off now before we go into this what you want to do next is hold this power button for three seconds and then you're going to hold this home button with the power button for ten seconds and then you're going to release the power button but hold the home button for fifteen seconds so um, once you got that all down we're going to start this holding for three seconds holding down for ten seconds power button and home button and releasing the power button and holding for 15 seconds and then it's a, it's normal to see a white screen now you just have uh, watch the computer uh, red snow window it'll just uh, start downloading the uh, jailbreak data from the computer to your iPod and now the rest will take place on the iPod. So you could go ahead and close Red Snow. All this text is very normal. Um, it just means that it's getting all the uh, applications all hacked and stuff. So once all that uh, command prompt text is gone, uh, this little pineapple image will, will appear. Now this is just finalizing the jailbreak, moving all the applications into the jailbroken um, software. So this takes a while, um, just depending on the size of the iPod and yeah. So once it's all done, that image has disappeared. Uh, your lock screen will just show up just like normal. You're going to slide to unlock, and then if you chose background, you will have it. Double click the home button. You will have multitasking bar with volume and music controls, and you will have Cydia. Now, um, I'm not going to go into it, but uh, battery percentage, how to get it, you go into settings, and then you're going to go to general, usage, and you're just going to turn it on. And then you can go ahead, go into Cydia. It'll do this. It's just uh, getting all the. Uh, oh, I have to log into my Wi-Fi. There we go. And then it'll just get all the files ready from Cydia in order for you to start downloading stuff. And then it'll exit when it's done. So that's pretty much it. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to leave your comments down below telling me the first thing you downloaded from Cydia. Also, if you like this tutorial, give it a big thumbs up down below. Also, favorite and subscribe to this channel, my second channel, and my iPhone channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.